children have an already set mechanism to discourage abuse over the illegal migration if there's a mechanism put in place already. Well, like aside aside from the sensitization, mm -hmm. is there any mechanism to, to give them more reasons not to, to venture? Um, for now, um, I think um, all what we are doing, all, all that the project intends to do, because we are, in, we are at a pilot stage, and this is going to run up to December. And uh, at the end of December, there will be a review of you know, the gains that are scored by the project. If the funders of the project deems it fitting for us to continue and probably expand to entrepreneurship, you know, we are looking at that too to see how best we can do that. But it depends on the review at the, at the end of December to see whether the project is continuing or is not continuing. If it is continuing, what direction are we taking? We are not only focusing on the issue of entrepreneurship, but we are also very much concerned about the involvement and empowerment of women. Because it is very important. Like when you we were when we were all going to school, we used to hear this adage saying that when you educate a boy, you educate an individual. But when you educate a woman, you are a girl, you educate the whole world. So uh, the project the project is kind of very much interested in also lifting the status of the young of, of our young women to be kind of responsible, you know, to be able to take good care of themselves and take good care of their families, to sort of. So that is why the, the research uh, system is also going to work with uh, our, 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 our focal point at the Berlin office, who is also, was one of you, Miss Nima Jadama, is going to work with uh, Nima, Nima, Nima Sisi to ensure that, that women part of the project will also come to ensure that you know we support women to become self-reliant, to become empowered. So basically for now we are only focusing on information because we felt there is already a study and these communities where or these regions where we have the project are the worst hit when it comes to migration. So as a result, you know, a lot of Issues were identified as probably might be one of the reasons why probably the, inf the movement of people is, is too much around because most we felt probably access to information is one thing. Young people around those areas, probably those who are not on social media and all those stuff, don't have access to information. They don't even see newspapers. Yes. So because of that, we because we know now almost. 75% of Gambians are using telephones. Even with your simple phone, you can use your short code and get access to information. So basically, I, I think the project is now concentrating on the issues of information to ensure that we give information, adequate information to young people so that they will be able to make the right decision. Okay, as far as um, access to information is key and uh, deficiency in the other side, um, uh, are, we, are we ready to go as far as getting to the last point of the country to get to reach those people. That's what that's what we are doing. If you look at the use of the USSD code, the sort code that we are talking about, even a person at Quina can can just use his simple phone, dial the sort code and get access to information. So basically that's what we are doing. The the USSD system is going to be there but not only the USSD system but we also have our local staffs, our local coordinator in each, uh, in each of the regions where we are operating. Like in URR, they've organized uh, uh, a community outreach in Fuladu and, 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 and another uh, round table discussion we call it, the project we call the Stamtis at, 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 at one of the schools, uh, at, at, I think in Basse, and another Stamtis uh, community outreach at, at St. George's uh, senior uh, upper basic school. So basically, and for the coming activities that are coming, uh, he is supposed to go to Sandu and probably get to other districts of URA. And likewise, the West Coast region. I think all the activities that will happen will happen in, uh, in, in, in Congo East. So probably there are a set of activities that are going to happen in June are going to center around another district 
so that before the end of the year, we will be able to reach every district in those regions. And their young people will be fully equipped with knowledge and they will be able to make right decisions with their migration when, when, they, when they plan to migrate.